Hey, if you're joining me, I'm, I'm here hanging out on my birthday, but I'm also testing my uh, live stream. This is the first time. This is the first time I've been able to to do this, so this is new. In order to be able to comment, you have to uh, you have to be uh, signed in. Or subscribe I think you have to be you at least have to have a Google I mean a Facebook account but definitely um, if you can if you'd like go ahead and subscribe as well so got that going I want to share this a couple of times and then I'm gonna get started let me go to my phone I'm sorry let me see I also I'm looking at this from my phone there I'm almost ready check back in let me see I don't see anybody saying anything so I'm guessing we don't have anybody here yet but so I'm just gonna talk a little while and jump right on in but I am live I'm hearing sound there and I want to make sure that I have sound up top so hold on just a second let me see. Yep. Okay, so I do have sound all the places. Pull it right back up there. Okay. Looks like I'm ready. So, from the other day, this is Jade on Piano. Yes, today is my birthday. And so, I'm just, I'm just testing my, uh, ability to live stream. It's the first time I've ever been able to do this, so I'm kind of excited. But um, if you saw my early, earlier video, I did a video. I started a transcription, Glenn Gibson. He was, um, he was doing a version of My Life is in Your Hands, Kirk Franklin. And, and we got this far here. Uh, no, that's not So, I see some people joining me, so, yeah, in the key of E, talking about going, or I'm going to be continuing what I did the other day while I'm testing uh, what's going on. You guys, let me know if you can hear, let me know if you can see everything really good, 
um, and everything like that. So if you see me looking over to this side, I've got it pulled up on my phone just so I can see what's going on and make sure uh, everything looks okay. And I've got my extra stream features and stuff I can do with that over there. So anyway, we were in the key of E and he, he did this song and that was the beginning. We talked about this being, and I keep wanting to add this note. That's me, that one when he did. Uh, right, that's as far as we got. Now let, let's listen, because everybody may not have seen that. Here's the whole thing. set it up I don't even want to start it yet but as you heard that was the beginning of that um, you know the original of this song I do believe is in D flat and so it goes more like this I love doing things where you have an arrangement that somebody can uh, they give their interpretation but they stay right in the vein of the song you're keeping the, the value of the song the integrity of the song you're still putting a spin on it but you you don't depart from the the uh, integrity of the song. So it, the original is in D flat, and it kind of goes like this. It's, it's real simple. But... That's what that whole beginning is like we saw there. And I talked about some of that in that video. So I'm I'm going on. I have not touched this since I recorded that. I, I wanted to save it for tonight so I can, you know, I'm going to be doing transcriptions live, so this is, you know, pulling out this track. So let's keep going from where we were. Here we go. I got the beginning. We got this part. Here's what we need. Now, that's what we need right there. That little piece right there. Let's see what we've got. Hold on. Got to go back a little further. So we're here, I'm hearing, that's what I'm hearing, the melody, like I was talking about in the other video, I listen for the bass first and the melody. Let's catch the bass. We may have to rewind a couple of times. There's also another little trick. Oh. See, we grabbing every note, and I'm not grabbing it. Let's grab every note. Right? That's the bass. We got an E, a C sharp. So. And then we go back there, so. We gotta fill that in. Remember that was the next part. We fill in the gap. So let's go back, fill in those gaps. I think we got that chord for that one. Let's let's check it. 
First time I pull up my okay. See if we hear the A. I'm thinking it could be an F sharp minor chord. That's my initial thought with the two notes. Okay. I'm here in the middle a little bit. Let me check it out. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing there. So let's see. C sharp, that's the problem. Here we go. No. Let's pull the bass one more time because I'm trying to, it has to make sense at the same time. I can give you the. So that's what we've got. And then jump here. Uh, okay, so what we have there is the one. Sorry. Actually, six. Notice it was every single one of these chords is open. We took the note out of the middle. See that? Took the note in the middle. Note out of the middle. Note out of the middle. And they're all going to the bass. See that? Note out of the middle. That's real nice, real open voicing. So. Sorry. Like that. Right? And then we go in here. Remember, that was our first chord that we had. So we've got, so far, 11 seconds. Um, I forgot the beginning. And then we go. That's where we're at. We've got all of that. Grab those notes. Okay, so and then the second time we're hearing things again that we already did, but he left out one chord. Um, right? Did you hear that that time? Same thing we did as the beginning. So we've got that. Let's check that. It was real strong, right? Let's get that. Now, what double is, notice he doubling every time? See, we're catching it. What's happening in the bass over that? Okay. This looks so much like a suspended chord to me. Let's see where we go next.
it just seems like it's getting ready to go to this um, here. Like it's setting us up. That's why I'm saying it, it sounds like it's suspended. See where it starts. Okay, let's see if that E is in there. I heard the beginning of the A flat, but let's see what it is. So, I'm not sure if I hear the F. what you need to know about YouTube check this little you see this little part right here it says playback speed if you can't hear especially Roland's if you cannot hear that sometimes I slow it down just a hair um, you're gonna hear the quality but it's I mean you're gonna hear the sounds but it's gonna lose a little bit of the quality uh, to expedite this particular run let's slow it down a little more and this is even can help you while you practice because if you practice at the slow speed then when you get it at the slow speed you speed it back up push it make sure you push it till you get to the back to the original speed so, first five and then he jumped that's why I didn't hear the rest of those notes Let's check it okay so now that we slowed it down and then he goes here let's try and get a finger in it Let's hear where he hits that C because he does hit that, he does resolve that chord in there too. So now we've we've gotten 20 seconds into this. There's only 40 more to go. But before I move further, I kind of want to uh, get this here, or not get it, but you you want to go back. You don't want to forget what you've already done. We've got that 20 seconds um, as you see it wasn't clean clean but it's there just enough to get some more so we can go on we've got this now 
let's I don't always want to listen to it fully slow I kind of want to hear it in full context so let me go ahead and bump that up because I got what I needed to get from it now let's listen to it in full speed <laughs> where we're at but I missed the chord that goes with it let's check it oh. it's got let's hear what note is in the middle there he's on the he's on the C sharp chord so I'm I'm expecting this or this somewhere in the chord maybe a little bit That's how I feel about that. Just to walk up there, we're over that C sharp. Okay, we've got that. Just a simple, you know, kind of outlining that chord. See that? We're going to that F sharp. I heard the bass. And also notice how we're moving in the number system uh, quite nicely there. sharp minor six that's what's going on in this left hand really okay I love that he's got this so We hear this, the melody over this. You hear that crunch? Kind of wild. Hold on one second. I wanna, I wanna slide my thing back over here. Okay, let me go back. Okay, hold on. Let's get the whole thing. So, and then he finishes off the chord with a, just a simple ring of that A major, but see that just gives us the full chord over here, okay? So we finish that off. See what we got. Okay. What about? Let's hear how many notes that he did in that arpeggio. Major. Okay, remember we're in the key of E, so that's the five. I don't think you get the third. Let's go back up. As you heard, it's another technique playing along with it so that you could um yep. so you hear that when I play it along with it. I can hear what's going on. I see a comment. Thanks, Eddie. Um, thanks for jumping in today. 
just doing this transcription here. So we got that over the five. Real nice move coming up. Hello. So let's grab it. So in the bass, again, once we're grabbing things like this, so he, excuse me, he goes from nice arpeggio there. He doesn't play the, the third at all, but then he goes to it here and really plays the, um, the same, the B chord with a drop too. You can see it from the root position. So we pulled that out, put it down there. And it was an arpeggio. So uh, so it's, this is going really fast. that at the same time let's see how much of that we have to get in there and I'm about to tell you how this helps you let's see okay so he finishes it ah. and then we've got all of that pretty much We got the Let's see if it's the half diminished We need to listen Or if it's the minor just be open and that's why let's see it's it's functioning as the E flat minor but we don't so that's real nice now this is a stretch notice I'm hearing all this that you've got the E flat on the bottom we've got the uh, since we're looking at his E flat minor, the C sharp is being a D flat in this chord, and the G flat. And then we got this, just real nice, real, something real nice and open. Uh, the A flat, the D flat, and the A flat. See that? So, um, So we're really staying on that chord. See that? And then I'm going to stop a quick moment because we're like halfway through this. Yeah. And then that real nice move. So. And then we got that special. Let's pull that in because it's the end of the phrase. Let's just grab that really quick. So he hits this D. Now we know the D is not in either our key of E. Um, and we're kind of straddling the line of A as well. But the D is in A. So we can kind of make that work. But it's not in this. You know, we've got that A flat sus. This is really the chord we're hitting at, right? But instead of going down, he pushes it up. 
to give it even more stress. See that? Now let's see what happens in the bass with that because I feel like there's another note in there. It's that flat five. You see that? That's the flat five. You see that? Listen to that crunch between this. Very nice, right? So we're halfway through this song. Now, before I do anything else, we just did um, uh, 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 See, we've got all that in there. That's halfway through the whole thing. Okay. Now, before I even go another step, um, I was saying I was going to talk about that just really briefly. When we're transcribing, we also want to listen to what's happening function wise. Wise, we got the Discord right here. Right now, remember, this is our key, key of E, right? Um, here's our five, right? That's our five chord in the key of E. But what he did right here, this is the normal, that's a normal three chord, right? A flat or G sharp, since we're in the key of E, G sharp minor. Right? And we know that's the enharmonic spelling. But this is that's not the chord, chord he played. He did this deal here. Uh, right? He's playing, as you can see right there, an A flat or G sharp dominant. When we get to these dominant chords, hey, thank you. I think that's Tyrone, maybe. Thank you for those uh well wishes. When we get to this dominant chord right here, we know it's pointing to something. So what does the A flat or G sharp point you to, okay? As we're thinking this, we stop the thing right there, but our ear should be like, come on, get me somewhere. Get me there, get me there. I'm waiting to hear it. What is waiting to hear is this. Or, you know, here some kind of C-sharp chord because if we were in C-sharp, in this case, it's going to the C-sharp minor, so we're expecting to hear some kind of C-sharp minor, especially since that chord happens to be in the key of E, okay? So when we were here, this is the whole dominant chord. See, it's all there. The A-flat or G-sharp. But as is there, we're hearing this wants to push here. See that? Cool, I thought I was remembering the right thing. But see, as we're pushing, we wanna get there. Hear that nice move? Right, so that's what I'm already anticipating before I even get to the next thing. Let's hear how close we're, we're, we're anticipating that. So if they hit it, we can go right there. But if they don't hit it, we learn something new. So let's see what he does with this. Cause he already he already introduced something new with this chord in that key. Notice. See that? We we heard it. He gave us exact and I really think he's playing the whole thing stretched out here. 
let's see, is it really open like that? Is it just the three notes or do we have something else? But it was re real warm. We hear all of that. I'm hearing all of this. I'm just hearing that uh, C sharp minor chord just straight up like that. Now let's see where he goes. We know those chords, see? We were here. And I'm starting to jump right to them because we've already done it in this song, so. And then let's see what's next. See, I was thinking about what I heard. hear that real low A in there so that was a real easy section as far as we've heard some of these things we heard what it was pointing to let's go back further see that we heard all that let's hear what's next we're at the end of the verse here Now, and this is real easy. Uh, I'm hearing the four chord, but we went. That's what he's playing there. And I'm going to test. Let's see what we've got. It's somewhere close to that. So, see, sometimes you get accustomed to playing certain things. You want to play that as the bottom, but he has that as a first inversion of the chord. That's what we've got. So, we got all the way. We're 39 seconds in. There's literally only 20 songs or 20 seconds of the song left. We're punching right through this whole thing. So I'm hearing those two notes. Let's hear. Let's go back. So let's hear what he did with it. I got the middle note loaded. I'm hearing that movement, but we got to the five chord in there as well. Let's hit it. he's taken out this third from down here and we don't even have the um, fifth in the chord see that so there's no five let's keep going almost through actually a tougher movement in the way you're playing it technique wise you feel it feels sorry that opposite motion here is weird I would either want to do this but this is that makes perfect sense you're just going the two to the five and he's just got the nine in it okay let's keep going now he, he's got that little walk up, run up, whatever you want to call it. Let's check what happens. Let's see if we can grab it. So 
I heard the arpeggio. We've got the E arpeggio. We know it's the one chord. Moving right through. Let's grab. That's what we're doing here, but what's happening in the right hand. It's not the C. It's probably this chord. Um, hold on, let's get it. So he uh, he leaves the E out because we are holding the pedal. Really. So sorry, I missed it. Let it up there. There we go, right there. You hear that? So all this is is a seventh of E. It's, it's an E seven. Now, again, like we since this is a dominant chord, I'm already we stopped it and we don't hear what's next. But I am expecting something that has this A major. That's what I'm expecting. But at the same time, that's what I'm expecting, something like that, okay? Because we have this dominant chord, and we know E is the five of A, so I'm expecting that to go to A. Let's, and I hit, I just hit it, so if we hear it, we know it's A. And we heard it, but we didn't hear it like that. He did this. Uh, uh, so, let's see how he pulled it off, because it's in there, but it sounded like it may have been in first inversion. That's how he's hitting it right there. So, uh, another finger move. So he's kind of got. So you're kind of hitting that C sharp and rolling up with the third, fourth, and fifth fingers to get there. So, and then when we get there, we're still holding this down and playing the whole chord. Okay. And then roll back, roll back to the uh, F sharp. That's real nice, beautiful. I gotta do that again just for me. All right, got that. So, I don't think I hear the third, but we're at the five. I'm hearing that bass note and that right there. And I really feel like I'm hearing this nine instead of the, the third, the ninth of the chord. Well, this is just the second because there's no seventh. So, we can't really call it a ninth until the seventh is present. See? And the third is there. See how it changed the nine? But without this, it's calling the add two. But I'm hearing that B chord. Let's go back a little. Oh, that was real nice. Those little finger moves. See, I don't, I'm just not hearing the heaviness of the third. He is making it the seventh though. Check that out. So I guess I am gonna call it a ninth. But it's so open, it almost sounds like the seventh isn't there. Let's go back one more time. I'm gonna play it with it. Hear that? See how when we played it, we were right with it? Okay. 
Now, something else that I need to snatch from that. That's gorgeous, that, that little finger flick thing he did. I'm hearing this, really. So he's going, uh, playing a little lower, but it's definitely a diminished chord. I really want to play it so. Uh, let's see if we hear that E flat strong again. There's so many ways we could be playing this. We could play this. But I don't hear this little, see how we change the strength when we're adding and doubling notes. This is here. These are here. The question is, is it just this? And it might just be that because that's real light. So let's see how how heavy he makes this. I'm here in three. I think he's doing. Now let's get all that. So, that's the whole thing. Let me slow that down. So, really the move, if you're just wanting to play it and can't get all that out, that's the move. But he played off of this one. And then he played back off of it, right? All that's to get right back there. And then we've got this. And then he played off the F sharp. See that? He just played off of it real quick. And that's the end note. So we've really just got this, okay? So, uh... It's tough to grab all that. See why practice is a separate entity of importance from the transcription. But if, and I ha I don't have this move, I'm just listening to it. Um, if I was going to, we just did this. Ah. So. See what I'm saying? So now anytime I'm going to that five, to here, I can just get that finger roll in there. This is one reason transcription is so important. Right? So, let's see how close I can get. There's 10 seconds of song left. And then he's got a real nice move here at the end. I'm going to try to skip it in. Grab that. Okay, I'm hearing. I'm oh, sorry, it's that. All right? Okay, let's check it. So we've heard that before. Uh, we've heard that at the beginning. And then, so. Let's see if he's got that C sharp in there. That A chord. 
Okay, so. Um, I think he had a regular, a regular C sharp minor instead of the first inversion. Hey, for the first time. Watch this, that was nice. Watch this. I'm about to tell you because I see it happening. Mm. Sorry. That's the next chord. I heard that D in there. And hear how fast it's going. What do I do? Got to slow this down. Got only a couple of minutes left. So let's slow that down. Go back. But I want to get that run. And I missed that next note. So we've got uh Okay. Uh we went to the sixth there. And why am I calling that a six? Check this out. Sorry about that. I was trying to cast something. Try to finish this up, you guys, because we've only got a few seconds left. As you see, this one minute of audio is taking me about an hour. I didn't start right at the beginning of my uh, recording, but. Now, what happened there? We went when we hit when we got to all of this. Uh, hey, Siobhan, thank you. I, I am. I'm almost finished uh, wrapping this up, trying to wrap this up for you guys, because um, I'm at my hour mark right now. But he shifted. He didn't do this before, but he shifted from the key of E to the key of A with this run. How do I know? Because the two notes that he and actually, sorry, he shifted to A, but then he shifted to D. Um, and we see that with two notes. We're here, um, uh, still an A, I mean E. This chord is an A. This is an A, this is an A, right? And actually, this is an A too. That's a three and A, that's a five and A, four and A, one and A, 
two in A, one in A. Then here we go. This is in D, okay? But check, check this. So this is also a five in D. This is also a six in D. Uh, this is a, this is the five. So from here, we can, we can either, if we really want to call, okay. So I'm seeing it in A, but. The way I'm backing this back up, I can jump all the way to D with this. Because this chord is in A, so that's really why I'm wanting to say that. But if we want to say this is in D right here, we can really do that too. Uh, that's the 5 in D. Um, 6 in D. 5. 4D. 1D. Um, uh, that would be D, uh, or 2 in D. He ends on the five and D, but check this out. This is A. Now if we look at it as um, uh, we did this. He did this up here. Both of these chords are in E and A, so we're kind of ambiguous in here right now. And then, and then let's see what he does. He did all that, and we're still in the context of E. Don't let that slip by. Uh, no, notice how dark and low that is. We need to get the melody for the last couple of chords. Check it. So you gotta push it up there like that. So that was essentially the whole thing. Now I wasn't stopping in there to go back like I normally would if I was practicing, but you know, if you wanna check this video, we literally did this whole thing um, I'm not even sure I can remember all the little parts and I even gave you some of the theory as we went along so we're gonna be doing stuff like this every week and th like this move here that's something you could take put in your uh, music especially in the key of e. um, also over the C sharp chord and do stuff like that and enhance your music would have never thought of that myself but Listening to him, pulling out the notes exactly. Now I can play it in other stuff. So anyway, it's J Don Piano. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed hanging out with me a little while. And you take care and you be blessed.